For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the domain and range of rational functions and we are going to explain everything in details. So the domain of rational function f of x is equal to n of x over d of x is all the values of x that will not make d of x equal to 0. And to find the range of rational function is by finding the domain of the inverse function. Another way to find the range of rational function is to find the value of horizontal asymptote. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to find the domain and range of rational functions. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, we have f of x equals 3 over x minus 2. So to find the domain of the given function, let us simply equate the denominator not equal to 0. So let us have x minus 2 not equal to 0. Let us move negative 2 on the side of 0. It will give us x not equal to positive 2. So if we are going to substitute this one on the given function, it will give us undefined. So the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 2. So to write our answer in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of values of x such that x is the set of all real numbers except 2. And this will be our answer. And to find the range, let us rewrite this one as y equals 3 over x minus 2. Let us multiply y by x minus 2 and let us rewrite 3. y multiplied by x, that is xy. y multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 2y equals 3. And let us express this one in terms of x. Let us move negative 2y on the side of 3. It will give us xy equals 2y plus 3. Let us divide both sides by y. Let us cancel this one. So we are going to have x equals 2y plus 3 all over y. So to find the range, let us equate the denominator not equal to 0. So y is not equal to 0. So if you are going to substitute this one, it will give us undefined. So the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 0. So to write our answer in set builder notation, let us have range is the set of values of y such that y is the set of all real numbers except 0. And this will be our answer. Example number 2. We have f of x equals 3x plus 2 all over x plus 5. So to find the domain of the given function, let us equate the denominator not equal to 0. That is x plus 5 not equal to 0. Let us move 5 on the side of 0. It will give us x not equal to negative 5. So if we are going to substitute this one on the given function, it will give us undefined. So that means the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except negative 5. So to write our answer in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of values of x such that x is the set of all real numbers except negative 5. And this will be our answer. And to find the range, let us rewrite this one as y equals 3x plus 2 all over x plus 5. So let us multiply y by x plus 5 and let us rewrite 3x plus 2. y multiplied by x is xy. y multiplied by 5 is 5y equals 3x plus 2. So let us express this one in terms of x. So let us move 3x on the other side of equation and 5y on the side of 3x plus 2. So let us have xy minus 3x equals negative 5y plus 2. So let us factor this one. The greatest common factor of xy and negative 3x, that is x, and then let us divide 
xy divided by x, that is y. Negative 3x divided by x, that is negative 3, equals negative 5y plus 2. Let us divide both sides by y minus 3. Let us cancel this one. So x equals negative 5y plus 2 all over y minus 3. And to find the range, let us equate the denominator not equal to 0. That is y minus 3 not equal to 0. So y equals or not equal to 3. So if we are going to substitute this one, it will give us undefined. So that means the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 3. So to write our answer in set builder notation, let us have range is the set of values of y such that y is the set of all real numbers except 3. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have f of x equals x minus 4 all over 3x plus 5. So to find the domain, let us simply equate the denominator not equal to 0. Let us have 3x plus 5 not equal to 0. Let us move 5 on the other side of equation. It will give us 3x not equal to negative 5. Let us divide both sides by 3. Let us cancel this one. So x is not equal to negative 5 over 3. So that means if we are going to substitute this one on the given function, it will give us undefined. So the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except negative 5 over 3. So to write our answer in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of values of x such that x is the set of all real numbers except negative 5 over 3. And to find the range, let us rewrite this one as y equals x minus 4 all over 3x plus 5. Let us multiply y by 3x plus 5 and let us rewrite x minus 4. Y multiplied by 3x, that is 3xy. Y multiplied by 5, that is 5y. Then let us have x minus 4. So let us express this one in terms of x. Let us move 5y on the other side of equation and x on the side of 3xy and 5y. That is 3xy minus y or minus x rather equals negative 5y minus 4. So let us have the greatest common factor of 3xy and negative x, and that is x. And then 3xy divided by x, that is 3y. Negative x divided by x is negative 1, equals negative 5y minus 4. Let us divide both sides by 3y minus 1. Let us cancel this one. So x equals negative 5y minus 4 all over 3y minus 1. So to find the range, let us equate the denominator not equal to 0. So we have 3y minus 1 not equal to 0. Let us move negative 1 on the other side of equation. That is 3y not equal to 1. Divide both side by 3. So let us cancel this one. So y is not equal to 1 third. So that means the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except one third. So to write our answer in set builder notation, let us have range is the set of all values of y such that y is the set of all real numbers except one third. And this will be our answer. In example number 4, we have f of x equals x minus 3 all over x squared minus 9. So to find the domain of the given function, let us equate the denominator not equal to 0. So let us have x squared minus 9 not equal to 0. Let us move negative 9 on the side of 0. That is x squared not equal to 9. So to eliminate the exponent, let us square both sides of the equation. Let us cancel this one. That is x not equal to 
square root of 9, that is positive and negative 3. So if we are going to substitute this one on the given function, it will give us undefined. So the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except positive 3 and negative 3. So to write our answer in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of values of x such that x is the set of all real numbers except positive 3 and negative 3. And this will be our answer. And to find the range, let us have y equals x minus 3 all over x square minus 9. And let us write x square minus 9 as x plus 3 and x minus 3. If you are going to multiply x plus 3 times x minus 3, it will give us x square minus 9. So let us have y equals x minus 3 all over x plus 3 times x minus 3. We can cancel x minus 3 and that is y equals 1 over x plus 3. Let us multiply y by x plus 3 and let us write 1. Y multiplied by X, that is XY. Y multiplied by 3, that is 3Y equals 1. So let us express this one in terms of X. Let us move 3Y on the side of 1. That is XY equals negative 3Y plus 1. Let us divide both sides by Y. Let us cancel this one. So X equals negative 3Y plus 1 all over Y. So to find the range, let us equate the denominator that equal to 0. So y not equal to 0. So that means if we are going to substitute this one, we are going to have an undefined. So the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 0. So to write our answer in set builder notation, let us have range is the set of all values of y such that y is the set of all real numbers except 0. And this will be our answer. Example number 5, we have f of x equals 3x minus 6 all over x squared plus x minus 6. So to find the domain of the given function, let us simply equate the denominator not equal to 0. So let us have x squared plus x minus 6 not equal to 0. So let us factor this one. The factors of x squared, that is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 6. And if we add, we can get positive 1. And that is positive 3 and negative 2 not equal to 0. So let us have x plus 3 not equal to 0. And x minus 2 not equal to 0. Let us move 3 and negative 2 on the other side of equation, that is x not equal to negative 3 and x not equal to positive 2. If we are going to substitute negative 3 and positive 2 on the given function, it will give us undefined. So that means the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except negative 3 and positive 2. So to write our answer in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of values of x such that x is the set of all real numbers except negative 3 and 2. And this will be our answer. And to find the range, let us have y equals 3x minus 6 all over x squared plus x minus 6. And this time, to find the range of the given function, let us use the concept of horizontal asymptote. So let us have n less than m, n that is the highest exponent in the numerator, m that is the highest exponent in the denominator. If n less than m, the value of y is equal to 0. If n is equal to m, the value of y is equal to a over b. A, that is the coefficient of the numerator, and B, that is the coefficient of the denominator. If N 
is greater than m, that means no horizontal asymptote. Since in our given, the highest exponent is on the denominator, that means we have n less than m. So the value of y is 0. So the range is y is not equal to 0. So the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 0. So to write our answer in set builder notation, let us have range is the set of values of y such that y is the set of all real numbers except 0. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have f of x equals quantity 3x plus 1 times quantity x minus 2 all over quantity 2x plus 1 times quantity x minus 4. So to find the domain in the given function, let us equate the denominator not equal to 0. And since our denominator is already written in factored form, we are going to have 2x plus 1 not equal to 0 and x minus 4 not equal to 0. Let us move 1 on the other side of equation together with negative 4. And this is 2x not equal to negative 1 and x not equal to positive 4. Let us divide both sides by 2. So x not equal to negative 1 half and 4. So that means if we are going to substitute negative 1 half and positive 4 in the given function, it will give us undefined. So the domain of f of x is the set of all real numbers except negative 1 half and 4. So to write our answer in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of values of x such that x is the set of all real numbers except negative 1 half and 4. And this will be our answer. And to find the range, let us have y equals quantity 3x plus 1 times quantity x minus 2 all over quantity 2x plus 1 times quantity x minus 4. Since the exponent of the numerator and denominator is equal, we are going to have n equals m. And if m equals m, we are going to have y equals a over b. That is the coefficient of the numerator and denominator. So the value of y that is 3 over 2. So the range that is y not equal to 3 over 2. So that means the range of f of x is the set of all real numbers except 3 over 2. So to write our answer in interval notation, let us have range is the set of all values of y such that y is the set of all real numbers except 3 over 2. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.